let me uh, revise for index sequential file how did this index sequential file became possible because of the evolution of the medium medium to save data medium to save data so tape drives are now converted to floppy drives in tape drive if you want to access a record you would have to go record by record but in uh, random access floppy you can basically uh, go to any address that you like so logical standpoint would become like this that you would have one index you would see the sequence of the key field that is required you will find the address of that record over the floppy and you would jump directly to that record without accessing all records before it for the reason that you can access any hard disk floppy drive or any random access medium storage ad address on it directly all right so this was one thing but this is not basically the actual way of uh, index sequential file it is a bit different okay actual working of index sequential filing now suppose that there is a bank and all account holders have account number comprised of let's say seven numbers all right so maybe for example me a customer name zafar has uh, an account number let's say 02031371 all right this is my account number actually how it happens that is we need to understand now now let's suppose what basically happens that we create index what do we do we create indexes for example first index would represent first two numbers so this index would have let's say 00 01 02 and this would go on until 99 so this first this would be called first level index now after this first level index every digit would have its own index and let's say that second level index would be representing would be representing next two numbers but these two numbers are now dependent on let's say first two numbers so every number in first index would have its own another two numbers index so let's say this 0 0 would have another index that would still be 0 0 and it would let's let's say continue until 90 9 similarly this 01 would have another index
and similarly there would be as many index as the number of numbers in first level index so it would go on so it means that at first level index we would have one index of 100 numbers 0 to 99 at second level we would have 100 indexes from 00, 0 to 99 each of 100 numbers and let's say this is second level index all right for the third level we will take all rest of the numbers it's really up to you that how many indexes how many level of indexes you want to create okay that's not our concern you might be asked in exam to create multiple indexes you might be asked to create two level indexes okay it's up to you or the examination question in that third level index each of the number of uh, how many would those be 10,000 numbers in second level index would have its own third level index of three numbers so it means that this 000 would have an other index starting with 000, 001 and going until 999 Similarly, rest would have more and similarly this 0, 3 would have another index 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1 and it would go until 999. Now this is our third level index. As many as you want. Now let's say you want to reach this number. Okay? 023137. You would read index number 1 3 times. 00, 01, 02. And then from 02, you would reach to its index and you would read it for 4 times. And from that 0, 03, you would go to its index and you would read it for 138 times. So together, that is 3 plus 4 plus 138. In, uh, 8. So that would be 8 and 4, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. 145 searches together all right to reach this particular index now let's say you want to reach to the last record which is basically uh, let's say it is 9999 all the way 9999 so how many numbers you would access on first level index 100 on second level another 100 at third level 1000 so 99997 time makes up 1 million and the in the worst case how many searches you would make to reach any record in 1 million records 1200 that's it so that is basically the advantage achieved by this index sequential filing system over the random access medium that is what happens so effort is less to access a record and that is how index sequential filing works now how many numbers do you take for first level how many digits you take for second level and how many levels altogether you would take it it's basically up to you the size of the whole code and the examination question let's do one examination question here take okay. Uh, this particular question each customer has unique seven digit account number which is issued as the key field described with the aid of diagram and indexing system which could be used to allow indexes index sequential access to the customer file so this would be same we have one index 
and then for every number we may have number of indexes that goes on okay and then for every index there would be many others and this goes on as well so this is first level index this is second level index and this is third level index so let's okay so this is the di proper diagram from our notes and that's about it